Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integrals. Let's start with 1. Integral of 2 dx. So here we're going to apply the integral formula wherein if we have the integral of any constant c times any function, let's say f of x dx, you can just put this constant in front of the integral. So we will have c times the integral of f of x dx. And another formula is the integral of dx is simply equal to x plus c. So applying this formula in the problem, we will have the integral of 2 dx equal 2. So this 2 is just a constant. Applying this property, let's just put it in front of the integral. So we will have 2 times the integral of dx. And then 2 times integral of dx from this property it's equal to x. So we will have 2 times x. Then don't forget plus c for the constant of integration. So this is the final answer. For number 2, we have the integral of 5x squared dx. This time, we can now apply the power rule for integral. Wherein, if we have the integral of x to the n dx, it's equal to x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c provided that n is not equal to negative 1. So, applying this property here, but first, we can just put this constant 5 in front of the integral. So, we'll have 5 integral of x squared dx. So, we'll have 5 times integral of x squared dx applying this power rule. So, we will have the base x raised to n plus 1. So, the value of n here is the exponent of x which is 2. So, we'll have x raised to 2 plus 1 over the same exponent n plus 1 or 2 plus 1 plus c. So, simplifying, we will have 5 times x raised to 2 plus 1, that's 3, over 2 plus 1, 3 plus c. Or, it's equal to 5 thirds x cubed plus c. So, this is the final answer. For number 3, we have the integral of the square root of x dx. So we can transform first the radical square root of x into fractional exponent so that we can apply the power rule. So it's equal to the integral of, so we know square root of x is equal to x raised to 1 half dx. Now applying the power rule, so integral of x raised to 1 half dx, so copy the base x. Then add 1 to the exponent 1 half. So we have x raised to 1 half plus 1 over the same exponent 1 half plus 1 plus c. Simplifying, we will have x raised to 1 half plus 1. That's 3 halves over 1 half plus 1. Also 3 halves plus c. Now, let's simplify the complex fraction. So get the reciprocal of 3 halves. That will be 2 thirds. Then times x raised to 3 halves. Plus C. So this is the final answer. For number 4, we have the integral of 1 over x to the 4th dx. Notice that the power of x is under the denominator, so we cannot apply yet the power rule. But what we can do first is to transform this into negative exponent. So it's equal to the integral of, we know that 1 over x to the 4th, it's the same as x to the negative 4 dx. Applying power rule, integral of x to the negative 4 dx, so copy the base x. Again, add 1 to the exponent negative 4 over the same exponent negative 4 plus 1 plus c. Simplifying, we will have x raised to negative 4 plus 1, that's negative 3, over negative 4 plus 1, negative 3 plus c. So you can transform this into positive exponent, so this will be equal to negative 1 over 3, then bring down the x on the denominator, then the exponent should become positive 3 plus c. So this is the final answer. For number 5, we have the integral of 1 over cube root of x dx. So transform first the cube root of x into fractional exponent. So we will have integral of 1 over cube root of x. It's the same as x raised to 1 third dx and then again transform this 1 over x raised to 1 third into negative exponent so it's equal to the integral of x raised to negative 1 third dx now applying power rule 
So, integral of x is a negative 1 third dx. That's equal to the same base x raised to negative 1 third plus 1 over same exponent, negative 1 third plus 1 plus c. So, simplifying, we have x raised to so negative 1 third plus 1. That will be 2 thirds over negative 1 third plus 1, also 2 thirds plus c. Again, let's get the reciprocal of 2 thirds. That will be 3 halves. Then times x raised to 2 thirds plus c. So this is the final answer. For number 6, we have the integral of 3x squared plus 6x minus 4 dx. So this time we have more than one term. We actually have three terms. So if that's the case, we can distribute the integral symbol together with the dx so we can integrate term by term. So, we will have the integral of 3x squared dx plus the integral of 6x dx minus the integral of 4 dx. And then, putting all the constants in front of the integral, we will have 3 integral of x squared dx plus 6 integral of x dx. Minus 4 integral of dx. Now applying power rule. So we will have 3 times integral of x squared dx. So that's x raised to 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. Plus 6 integral of x dx. So this x has an invisible exponent of 1. Applying power rule. Its integral is equal to x raised to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. Minus 4 times integral of dx. That's equal to x plus c. So, we just simplify. We have 3x raised to 2 plus 1. That's 3 over 2 plus 1. 3 plus 6x raised to 1 plus 1 or 2 over 1 plus 1. 2 minus 4x plus c. Simplifying further, you can cancel out this 3. We are left with x cubed plus dividing 6 by 2. That's 3. Copy x squared. Then minus 4x plus c. So, this is the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.